There's a lot of stuff I want to do. Uh, I turned the game on about half an hour ago to kind of let it just like make stuff for us while uh, while it's running. Um, I filled up my inventory with a whole bunch of concrete and uh, iron plate and just like raw materials that we're going to need. Uh, I'll probably ditch these rotors. Um, we built that like assembler package in the back that's making rotors for us. And uh, that was maxed out, which was good because then it kind of backfills the uh, storage units the way that we have it set up. Um, but I went and emptied it so they can make more as we kind of venture out. What I'm thinking is I might want to set up, before we leave this specific area, I might want to set up one more assembler to kind of create um, like reinforced steel plates and stuff just so that we have a whole bunch of our raw materials just being built for us. Then we take all of this uh, concrete and we're going to go out and build, we're going to find a nice spot, build some foundation and we're going to start to set up like our base base and uh, make it like an actual factory. We also have to scan these hard drives in the MAM, so we're going to do that right away. Don't you start on the bread thing? I mean, look, uh, I'm not going to start a bread war here, but rye bread is up there with the best of the breads. You can't deny that rye bread's up there with the best of the breads. It's just exceptional. Um, Iram got into like baking breads not too long ago. And there, she cooks them in like this Dutch oven thing. And it's outstanding. She makes a really good like cheddar jalapeno bread. <sighs> wow. Wow. Dev's reporting server problems, so game might crash. Oh boy. We'll be fine. I hope. We never crash. St. Angel 9 says this game looks cool. It's, it, it looks visually, it's visually stunning, but also it's like just the gameplay is, is super, um, super addicting. Super addicting. Oh, by the way, I went and saw um, Captain Marvel last night with a friend of mine who's visiting from uh, Nova Scotia. And uh, it was okay. Has anybody else seen this? <laughs> Taxi phone, no. We, uh, we don't have any leaves in storage anymore. We use those. We use those. I went and moved everything over to there, and it's making... Actually, it's not right now. It's done. But we've made a whole bunch of biofuel. I have to move the wood down and then change the thing. We're going to make biofuel. Two days in a row must be in heaven. Well, tomorrow it will be three days. So anyways, I saw Captain Marvel yesterday, and I... Um, I'm not a big superhero movie fan, and the first, like, ten minutes... I'm not going to spoil anything. But the first 10 minutes, I was kind of like, where are we going with this? And then the story kind of like kicked in. I was like, oh, interesting. And it was like, it was good enough. Yeah, it was good. Who won the game yesterday? Uh, his name was... His name was... One sec. I'll tell you. His name was Dude Mike. Dude Mike won. Yeah. You saw, oh yeah, the 90s like nostalgia references were super good. The 90s nostalgia references, the soundtrack was really good. Yeah, it was, it was, a, fu it was a fun watch. Hey, cool man, what's up, dude? Um, Shepard, thanks for the bits, buddy. Appreciate that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So real quick, let's, um, we're gonna move our wood from this one a couple at a time. And we'll set these up to just make uh, biofuel. I refilled all of our reactors uh, right before the stream started. So if we set this now to... We can get rid of this. We're going to go biomass wood. This is going to turn it into biofuel. And then over here, we've got like a whole bunch of extra fuel just sitting there. This thing is now full of rotors again. Uh, so I'll remove this, and it can just keep producing another batch. But what I'm thinking is, I'd like to make another one over here, uh, where we do the reinforced steel plates. Or, you know what it could even do? Because we have a ton of rotors, I'm just going to switch this one. I'm just going to switch this one. We have a ton of rotors right now in storage. I think I have an extra hundred. So I think we're okay. Damage Berg. Hey, what's up, man? It's nice meeting you. Subnatorio? Kind of close, Arvanis. Kind of close. Kind of close. Yeah, so we've got 100 rotors in here. Now we have 100 more. Um, I could 
And I think I will send off the, uh... I'm gonna send this off to get the conveyor walls. Whoops. Milestone reached to ensure optimal use of space, navigation... And then we're gonna research the hard drive here. ...have developed stairs and conveyor walls. Hey, what's up, zombie? Welcome, buddy. Yeah, I did. I saw they were watching this guy. He had, like, uh... 95 hours in the game or something and his factory is like super dope it's like I, I aspire to get there and we will you gotta keep we're like three hours in i can only imagine what you can accomplish at 90 hours you know green power slug is done i want to see what the hard drive is all about 10 minutes to analyze slug can be harvested and converted into a power shard that functions with current fix it technology several buildings would be capable oh, okay. of performing over 100 percent capacity if infused the derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 1. So Hub Tier 1, we have a blueprint for the overclocking, which we've heard so much about. This is going to take 10 minutes to do, which is more than enough time. Let's see this. So fabric and overclock production. Check this out. Overclock buildings and a power shard. That's super cool. That is super cool. Let's just... Um, I guess we have to wait 40 seconds. I'm going to knock that out as well. And then we can maybe dabble with that and see how it works exactly. Hey, Ascenderon. Welcome, dude. Hey, Zeitz. Nice to see you guys. Have I heard of a game called Throne of Darkness? No, I haven't, actually. Look at it. I love that. I love how it accelerates in so fast and then like the slow descent into docking. It's beautiful. Beautiful. This game doesn't seem very short attention span friendly. Uh, you'd be surprised. I have a relatively short attention span. And uh, it's got me pretty good. Alright. So now that that's happening, new parts, players upgraded. Uh, these are all the walls that we unlocked. Let's see what else is going on in here. Okay. So I don't know how the overclocking works exactly, but let's take a look. Clock speed. Okay, so we need to make a power shard, and then we overclock it. I'll, I wonder, like... Because these things are all, like, this is kind of a, um, this is a bottleneck. I feel like this is what we would overclock first. Uh, but we need to, like, whip up a power shard. So let's check that out. Do we build the space elevator yet? Not yet. No, not yet. Not yet. Okay, power shard. All it is is one green power slug. Okay. Let's try this out. Now when we overclock something, I imagine it's gonna draw more power. Let's see. See, but my worry is, like this, I guess it's producing as fast as it can, but there's still a backup. So if we, if we overclock it, clock speed 150%. If I clear this out, this will continue to go through. I'm just trying to see if this will kind of stagnate here. That's pretty cool. Did we find the original crash site? Yeah, we did actually. Yeah, we did. So this seems pretty nice, having the overclock on any of the stuff that we... Um, that we get backed up on, at least temporarily. I don't know if this changes... Yeah, okay, 7.7 .7 megawatts up from 4. So, almost double, actually. I think we still have some headroom, though. Yeah, we still have quite a bit of headroom there. So, I'm going to make another one. Oh, this is yellow. I don't know how that's used yet, but it might. it must be some other power variant. 
Let's go overclock the other one that has a, a backup. Time to go slug hunting. Oh, look at this. See, we're, we're backed up here. I almost feel like we kind of have to work from the end. See how we're really low efficiency here? Let's go. 7.7. If I remove these rods, obviously that'll get going. I wonder if it will ever get backed up again to that point. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it looks like it's still going to do that. I can overclock it even more. Just because making these, um, making these screws is like horribly inefficient, you know? So I'm actually okay if the, if the screws are backed up. I think that's fine. Um, if we want to just have iron rods, like, being pumped out super fast, I think we overclock this one instead. <laughs> Emergency power only oxygen production offline. I believe they did fix the efficiency numbers, Pitar. Yeah, I believe so. So this already feels better. That feels pretty nice. Okay. Cool. So now, while we're gone, this thing's just going to be making, like, a whole bunch of these, uh... Oh, wait. I'm routing the wrong things into here. I'm routing the wrong things in. I'm going to have to fix that up real quick. I think we would just... Yeah, we can do this. This is not a big deal. I'm just going to reroute over to here so that this can make the, uh, plates while we're out. And this will just take from storage, which we have plenty of, so this is fine. That'll eventually hit, like, 100. Once you have 100 steel plates, we're, like, in a pretty good spot, so. Not enough space for these screws. That's fine. Let me ditch this one rotor. We'll ditch the leaves, and we're good. Okay, so I think the next thing I'd like to do is find a spot where we're going to set up uh, our foundation for, like, a nice-looking actual factory, you know? Not efficient because the screws aren't transported fast enough because it's producing slow. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> okay, so let's... Uh, there's a couple ideas I have. We do have that poison section over there, and I don't know if we can deal with that. I want to check behind us up here and uh, just find a spot that we really like. We could try and build, like, in these mountain regions. It's a little bit tougher. Um, but we're basically just going to, like, make a giant foundation. And then uh, get our build on. Hey, Celso. What's up, man? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Okay. That overclocking uh, has backfired already. <clears throat> Advanced timber. Welcome, dude. How are you, man? I'm glad you like that. So we spiked here. Uh, there's two ways we could fix this. I think I'll just whip up another one of these, honestly. It's not like we don't have the biofuel to support it. And uh, this should be good to go. We should be well above where we need to be. Uh, coal power is not up and running yet. Not quite. Uh, we're going to need to get the space station up. Or the... I don't... Is it called a space station? The space tower thing? The space elevator. This is what we need. Hmm. Maybe we should build this in this area before we actually go 
and set up a new base. Because that will unlock some later stuff that's going to be quite important. And maybe we can use that to... Um, we can use that, uh, those advantages, to build our base the way we want. <laughs> Gotta get fancy technology before you can burn coal. <gasps> yeah, exactly. That's how it works, okay? That's how it works. Let's fill out as many of these as we can as well. I gotta whip up some of my own cables, which is fine. We have, uh, we have wire being created for us. Milestone reached. Buildings aimed at factory traversal, including several different categories of jump pads, can now be accessed in the build menu. I actually think we will. I think we'll do the space elevator first. I think that's that's a decent idea. Um, to make some space, I grabbed a whole bunch of the concrete that I was going to use to build uh, some foundation stuff, but now we'll just hold off on that for the time being. When do you build the margarita machine? <laughs> uh, I would like to build that. I would. That's going to be a minute. We have more than enough here. What do I have in this top one? This is the, uh, yeah, this is the concrete, right? And I actually need that for the space elevator, but we're fine. Iron plates were over rods I need from up here. And I guess we'll just take the concrete that we need and we'll just throw up the space elevator. And we'll eventually, we'll probably move it eventually. Toilet for biofuel. We just need to get Vinny in here. Once we get Vinny, we'll have unlimited, unlimited biofuel, actually. How far out can this thing be? I don't really want to be underneath it when we build it. If I can avoid that. Taxi Pwn, thank you so much, man. Fix it, thanks you for your continued service. Enjoy this complimentary reward and remember, stay efficient. <laughs> thanks for role playing, I like that very much. Look at this. That's a poop joke, right? Yes. Yes, it is. Watch this assembly. This is super cool. thing is fairly large, phallic in nature, but also beautiful. <laughs> 50 seconds here. All right. We need to complete uh, phase one of the elevator. And it's asking, it's going to ask for a bunch of materials. We can funnel it in. Um, how much power does this require? So we're going to have the rotors, uh, but we will not have the reinforced plates yet, but we are working on it. I actually don't know if I even, I don't even think I need power, do I? Yeah, no, I don't think we even need power for this. So we've got 31 of these already, which isn't uh, too terrible. 
But when we get phase one done, that's going to do some pretty cool unlocks for us. And then I think that's when we'll head over and start making the new base. Okay, let's grab the rotors out of here. And... I guess I could make a bunch of these reinforced plates as well. Just to speed things up. <laughs> it is it is wireless. It is wireless. Sent down from God knows where. Okay, so we're going to be a little short. We need 20 more, which we could easily whip up. We need plates, we need screws, which is all easy. I'll actually just grab a batch of the screws from here. Okay. It could be solar panels. I'm not sure how it how it's being powered, but we're just an operator. We're not we're not actually supposed to ask those questions. They don't like that, turns out. Weird. Okay, our NAM uh, or our MAM reading of that hard drive should be done. We're gonna check that again. I actually am excited because when we were doing the Alpha Weekend, the uh, that drive was actually supposed to crash the game, so. Advantage Timber. Uh, I know I caught you saying you're happy to use those emotes now, but thanks for the sub, dude. I appreciate it. Hey, twins. What's up, buddy? How are you, man? See ya. Is it stay connected? What the? It does. That's so weird. <clears throat> That's really cool. All right. Ooh, what is this? Select your desired reward? Alternate blueprint for iron ingots. Alternate blueprints for stitched iron plate? Wait a second. Stitched iron plate, is that... That looks like the reinforced iron plate. Is that just what it's called in here? So, if I had, like, an excess of, of copper ore, we can use that to just make iron. So, iron and copper can make iron now. Um, these are both the same. But it's basically saying you can use copper in some form to turn it into this other stuff. And not have to use those screws all the time. What do you guys think? What would you do in this scenario? Yeah, these two are the same. I don't understand why we have two that are the same. This one I don't think... I don't think we would do. We have a ton of extra wire, and wire can be used for a bunch of stuff. So I think these two are probably the way to go. Okay. I want to see what Data this other on one does now. The hard drive has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. That's cool. I had no idea something like that existed. I had no idea. I wonder if it's more beneficial for us to take those, uh, those nails that are being created from here. 
I'm gonna see. I don't know if I have to like reconfigure the recipe. Looks like I do. See, now this still has the same cost. Hmm. I wonder if these are recipes you have to make by hand. For whatever reason. I doubt it. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, reinforced and stitched are different? Okay. They looked exactly the same, so I thought maybe it was part of when they uh, applied the patch and it was like... Reinforced iron. So maybe I just don't even have access to it yet. That could be too. That could totally, uh, that could totally be it. Medicinal inhaler. Improved melee combat. Xeno basher. Uh, better storage. Better conveyor belts. Steel production. Here's the coal power, which I think would probably be good for us. Because if we can start that whole new section... Oh, here. Oh, it's a milestone. Stitched iron plate. And then it gives you reinforced iron plates. Weird. Okay, let's check this out. Let's check this out. Let's check this out. I'm going to just spam a bunch of these upgrades. I'll have to grab a few things here. I'm guessing now that we did that, we could probably switch that over. Hey, Richie. Yeah, the color gun can be used to, um, to change the color of, like, walls and stuff. There it is. So, like, I think this... It says stitched iron plate, but I think it's the exact same thing as a reinforced iron plate. I would be super happy to be wrong if anybody can, like, confirm it. I'd be happy to be wrong and see if it's a completely different thing altogether. Yeah, it's an alternate recipe with the same product. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Um, yeah, seems okay. But I bet you we can make these way faster here. Let's let it do its thing. Maybe it'll be something different later. Yeah, who knows? Okay, I'm going to take a bunch of these that we need. And I think we'll research uh, coal power. And then that's when we'll go. So I was a little bit preemptive on like, hey, we're going to go right away. I think this is okay. Milestone reached. After medical consultation, additional buildings aimed at factory traversal have been added. Walkways can now be accessed in the build menu. Okay, so we need rotors, we need cables, and we need wire. All of which we can pretty easily make. Hey, Melitrizzi, you're not late. That's You're perfectly on time. Could overclock the, um, the reinforced plates to stop backups. Yeah, we could. It's not a bad idea. We are needing that more and more. This feels dirty. I hate being at this bench and just tinkering. Tink, 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 tink. <laughs> I'm not a creature or a plant, but I'm in the food chain. What am I? I don't know. I'm not good at riddles. So this is doing 7.5 per minute. I think before it was doing, I want to say 6 per minute. We could make, we could overclock this and do it faster. Not a bad idea. I 
I think we have one more slug as well. The sun. <laughs> wow. You're good. That's good. It's very good. Very good. We're over what we need uh, for coal power. I need more reinforced uh, plates. But if we want, we could try overclocking it. Seeing what kind of difference that makes. Oh, we're going to be maxed out at the uh, at the conveyor belt speed, you think? Because it needs 75 per minute. Oh, okay. And our belts can't even deliver that, is what you're saying. I just want to see what happens if we throw this in here. See if it makes any difference. After it produces this one, let's see if it has an impact. It actually does, it does make a difference. It takes us up to 11.25 per minute. But our power can't handle it. This is like, look at how much it takes now. 28.7. Holy frick. That's insane. But it does actually make a pretty significant difference there. We don't have to overclock all the way if we don't want. But, um, we can. Hey, Scarlet. You love the power shutdown sound? Yeah, so we, we spiked over capacity. Which means I'm going to have to make another one of these. This was not the original plan. fill all these bad boys and then if we can start experimenting with the uh, coal power that would be amazing oh you know what I bet you this one just ran out I bet you we have like excess capacity now I may not have needed that extra one Yeah, I think this one just ran out of fuel, but eh, that's fine. Yeah, that's uh that is not bad. 11.25 per minute. So this will fill up um in basically every 9 to 10 minutes. It'll max out at 100. Hey, Floss. You had a very crazy day at work and this is soothing? Oh, what happened? That sucks. Okay. Let's go. Milestone hey, Ark. Reach. How's it going, buddy? Nice to meet you. As well as the construction of outposts is now encouraged. An increased focus on the explore and exploit pillar is recommended. Yes! Coal is 125% more efficient than biomass. Yes! Can be automated. Yes. Uh, that's okay, Mort. We're going to let it roll for a bit. I appreciate the advice, though. Um, but we're not looking to, like, make this a perfectly efficient situation right now. We just want things to, like, pump out what we need so we can build up our second base. That's the whole plan right now. So, we need to go exploring. And I guess we'll kind of let... We have none. No pings. No coal pings at all. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Okay, we're going to be living in a completely different zone. We're going to let the coal kind of decide where we set up next, I think. Okay, what do we want here? This is the same. 
It's the same uh, possibilities. Alternate blueprints for reinforced iron plates again. Interesting how it's it switched from stitched to reinforced. Isn't that weird? I'm pingless. <laughs> well, yeah, but we're going to have a bunch that are pretty tight. Uh, I'm not sure what to make of this, honestly. Different type of recipe is a slightly different name for the same product. That's weird. Did it change? Um, hold on. I want to check what the what the cost was. If I make a reinforced iron plate, it's uh, four and twenty four. Ten and twenty four. It even feels like it's more expensive to build these. Hey, Lupus. What's up, man? I might just take the iron ingot. So that if I have excess copper or whatever, I can just make whatever I want, you know? Weird. That is super weird. All right. I'm going to throw our yellow power slug in there that we have. Ten minutes for that, and then we're kind of gonna we're gonna go out and go to that coal power stuff. Coal generating we need uh, frames and rotors and cable. So I'm gonna need to grab um, some reinforced iron plates. We're gonna need to grab some iron rods. And then we want to grab a whole bunch of concrete so we can build foundation and stuff. And uh, extra rotors, even. Here's our concrete. I need reinforced plates. Which we have being built over here. And then I can whip up some on my own as well. Gravy says, YouTube giveaway video is up to 2.7k. I don't like my odds. <laughs> one out of 3k. <laughs> one out of 220 from Patreon. And one out of I don't know how many subs in Twitch. <laughs> hey man, maybe. You just gotta believe. You just gotta believe. I'm gonna set up... I'm gonna try to take out enough for three. So I need four more uh, frames. Which is pretty easy for us to build. And then I'm going to grab more concrete while we're over here and more wire so I can make uh, cables because we're going to have to stretch everything over there as well. And by stretch, I mean we're just going to have to power everything. We're not going to bring power from here. It's going to be on a totally separate grid. Wait, what? Oh, I forgot to grab those. Hold on. Let me get rid of this. Hey, would you mind moving the sub dono feed? It's sitting right on the list. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, totally. You're right. That's annoying. That's very annoying. I'll fix that right up for you. Uh, there we go. How's that? Is that okay? Thanks for pointing that out. Do I have, um... Oh, I do have iron rod storage. Good, yeah. I thought I did. Oh, baby. Give me a recap of what's going on, please. Makaru, let me tell you. I'll tell you exactly what's going on right now. Uh, 
So we've got our... It, it took us about three and a half hours, but we've got all of our basic production needs met. Um, we have power up. We have a um, good source of fuel being made for us um, almost autonomously. We just have to, like, dump leaves and stuff in there. Speaking of, I'm going to actually ditch these. And um, now what we're planning to do, since we have coal power developed, we're going to go move out and set up, like, a... Uh, a secondary base which is going to become our main our main uh, factory for everything that's the plan so modular frame for coal generators um, what else am I gonna need I'm gonna need a lot of plates for belts I'm gonna need concrete for the ground I might grab more plates here and I'm gonna need probably well, I guess I won't need fuel if we have coal, but I'm not exactly sure how that works, so we'll have to kind of map that out. This is going to be... All the biofuel is pretty much going to be made. Might be a bit awkward for a bit. Might be a bit awkward. Um, the other option that we have is making a vehicle for ourselves. Eventually, we can do these truck stations. 120 stacks per minute. Always refuels vehicles if it has access to a matching fuel type. I think we'll probably whip up one of these, which is going to cut into our modular frames. But then we can just drive over there in this cooler. Don't I need a miner? I will. Yeah, I'm going to need, um, I'm going to need all kinds of stuff, but... Um, yeah, I guess we should build some portable miners to bring over there. Good point. Good point. We can whip some of those up. I'm going to refill these guys before we leave. We're going to build a tractor. Boom. And then I am going to actually take... I, I used up all of our beacons there. I wouldn't mind having a few more. And I will even... I will even uh, make some more cables for us. I'll use up like that 200 stack of, uh, of wire. The trucks can carry as well, yeah. So I could even load if I want to. I could load all of our concrete on there. Or whatever we want. We also have our workbench on the truck, which is kind of cool. We do need fuel. Let's just fill it with uh, concrete for now. We can even put our miners in there. I guess we can put whatever we want, really. But. Make sure to save the game before leaving. Yeah, you're worried about the server thing, hey? It does save every five minutes, in case you guys are wondering. It does save every five minutes. But I don't know if there's a bug with that that you know of that I don't. It's possible! Guys, I'm kind of nervous, like, going out into the who knows where. To find that coal 1,500 meters away. Seems impossibly far, but... Okay, is there anything else you guys think we might need? I think we're probably okay. Um, if I need to craft anything, like, I can just whip it up here, which is super cool. Super cool, actually. I love it. Just take my chainsaw for protection. I've got it. I've got it on me. <laughs> I've got it on me. All right, let's let's go.
How do I... How come I'm not going? Oh, I didn't, um... I know why. I gotta actually put the fuel in. Now, there is poison through that way, so I'm actually gonna go around this way. And see what we find. Here we go, boys. It's happening. It's official. Ooh, that is a... Uh, Pretty heavy-duty tree that we can't get through, apparently. <laughs> I like that. Okay. It's hard to tell which trees are going to be passable. Just stick to the baby trees. Well, I'm poisoned anyways. I know we need to head in this general vicinity. There it is. Okay. What's that thing on the bottom right, the autopilot? So you can record... Um, you can record pads for your trucks, and eventually you use these to transport different things. That's not something I was ab ever able to uh, play around with, so it's going to be kind of new for me. But you can record a path for it to go and like do certain things, and then just kind of automate that as well, so you don't have to manually drive it even. <clears throat> hey Targ, what's up, man? <laughs> it was not your last lunch, Kaz? good sign, man. I'm glad, I'm glad you survived. We were worried for a minute there. Could you take this thing off sick jumps? Eh, maybe. You don't quite have the speed required for sick jumps. Hey, Nexus. What's up, buddy? Nice to see you. Oh boy, they're going to be pissed. We're getting close. Wait, I passed it? I don't know if I can make this hill. Not today. It's a bit weird with like what you get stuck on and what you don't, but I mean, it is it is a tractor after all. Okay, there it is. There it is, guys. Our new power source. This giant pile of coal. Now, this guy's gonna come up here and try to kill me. Don't even. Let's check this out. It's pure. Now, I don't know if these have, um, I don't know if coal has different ratings, similar to the, um, to the ore. But this isn't a bad spot. Um, we've got some higher elevation. Let me check this area. Has to be a better way to hunt aliens. There are. There's, um, there's guns that you can make. And there's a basher, a stronger version of this weapon that you can also make. I kind of like the idea of building up on this hill. We would probably clear all these trees. Like, look at this. We could kind of just build out by the cliffside. Damn. 
What do you think, guys? This is pretty nice. We could even utilize some of the uh, the mountains up there. We could build up top. Or, ooh, hold on. Oh, uh, I thought it might be like a cave or something, but that's not the case. All right, well, being a human, I'm just gonna assume that all of this nature is mine and I'm gonna destroy it. Is there iron or copper nearby? That's a great question. Probably not. <laughs> That's a great question. We'll check. We'll check in a second. All this natural wildlife needs to go. Uh, Chun, hey man, thanks for the three months. Just wanted to remind you, you have 500 leaves in storage. Three hundred and twenty one meters that way. So it looks like um, up top we would be able to build uh, copper. Let's check our limestone pings. Very close to that as well. We have uh, limestone. Uh, sorry, I might have called that copper. Yeah, we have um, we have a decent stuff. We have a decent scenario over there. It's actually not bad. Um, guys, I just got to run to the washroom real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. Just had to go make some biofuel. No big deal. Need a washroom cam. Ew. <laughs> no, we don't. Tiny bladder, that was fast. My bathroom's close. Okay, um, hmm. Question is, like, we can definitely build our way up there, which would be super sick. But I wonder if we have, like, an accessible path. Because this whole bottom section could be made flat. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to have to build stairs up. Our jump pads, walkways, walkway ramps. I wonder if I could make like a... God, it is attacking me. Dude. We could check out the other coal nulls, but I kind of like this area, to be honest with you. I'm just manning up. Actually, that's not a bad strat. You just put yourself in front of a rock and he just bounces you back into it. I want to see what kind of... Um, what kind of work effort it would take to build us up that way. Let's put this on uh, seven. Oh, here's what I want. This is actually... This is actually what I want. Uh, let's go eight and nine. 
So as an example, oh, I gotta go grab all my concrete for my truck. I think we could probably just build like a spiral staircase on the way up. Or you can make jump pads, but the problem with jump pads is you gotta, uh, you gotta power them, right? You gotta power them. Um, we just kind of want to scout it for right now. So... We want to see exactly how things are looking up top. Oh, Paleberry. I definitely want to get some of those going. Let's make the uh, smaller one. Now, how do these connect? Or do they? What the? Maybe these can't connect in the way that I'm kind of envisioning them. Because, like, what I'd like to do is connect it to this piece right here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh. This is going to be an amazing piece of architecture. It defies the laws of physics and gravity, but it's going to work anyway. All of my materials gone? Well, yeah, but that's the point, right? <laughs> that's why we have the materials. Um, actually, I don't even want to build foundations here. Let's utilize the, uh, the walkways that we have. Uh, where are you? Walkway straight, let's go zero or 10, whatever. Um, just to make this cleaner, we'll do a straight walkway from here. That's so weird how it wants to snap there. Why does it want to do it like that? We could do a turning walkway, I suppose. Into the straight one. All right, check it out, guys. Check it out. In my shoes, wheels optional. Thank you so much for the bits, man. Uh, new to Twitch, so hopefully this works, but oh my god, yay, so glad I made it to one of your streams finally after subbing today. Added bonus, it's you playing my favorite game at the moment. Love all you do, and please know you helped me get through some hard times just for how nice and community-oriented you can be, plus fun to watch. Uh, so epic. <laughs> to be able to support you, and thank you in return for it. Hopefully the bits send, or I probably will be doing it wrong. <laughs> thank you, that's very kind, thanks. I really appreciate it. Will elevators be available? I'm not sure. Look at this, though. Oh! Hey, what is, get out of there, dude. Get. Get. We could even, like, uh... I mean... Why do those clip through the walls? I wonder if I rotated them. I'm not going to do this, but... There. <laughs> this is the kind of this is where I want to like spend my time eventually once we get things up and running is uh like we would totally have this this dope corridor walking up here and all sides walled in and you're just like you go inside and you come out and you're on top of this place 
We could do things with like windows and stuff, but I'm just I'm just working out the possibilities in my tiny little brain. Okay. What are we working with? Oh, there's still like back here. It's still a ways back here, guys. It's a little concerning, but Let's see if we can get up there without having to build. Without having to Fortnite our way up. This is a really beautiful area, though. This reminds me more of the original um, biome that we started in. Oh, see, it's up in this middle section. There's a slug up there. might have to do it. All of this will come back to us anyway, so... Mm, it's gonna be awkward. Okay, let's check this area. It looks like this might be where all those nodes were located. 